Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Vanessa. This is Nessa CX Beauty. And today we are going to be swatching and reviewing the brand new Spicy Sriracha Palette by Peachy Queen. This is the component. It is stunning. This is the inside. It retails for $29.99 and features 12 shades. Then it does have a mirror that says, keep it saucy. So... This is very reminiscent of my college days. I used to eat ramen and soak it in sriracha, so I had to have this palette. But if you're interested in seeing how it swatches and how it performs on the eyes, just continue watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the swatches. We're going into spicy. It's lit. Hot mama. Saucy. Red hot. Fire. Flaming. I am a sucker for orange shimmers. Fuego, which is fire in Spanish. Light it up. Ooh, super soft. Zesty. Keep it spicy. And last but not least, blaze. So this is the entire palette swatched and it is definitely up my alley. On to the eye look. So the first shade I want to dig into is It's Lit with my Morphe M513. And we're going to place this all over my crease. I want the orange to come through like Cheeto dust. And that's just how I like it, pigmented. I've never had issues with any Peachy Queen um, eyeshadow palette, so I definitely have high hopes for this. And this color story is just everything to me. Like, I have her Friends palette and her 90s Baby palette, and both of them are phenomenal in terms of formulation and concept. So, the only thing I hate about Peachy Queen is their shipping. They take five ever to get product to your house but at least it's quality product next up i want to go into zesty with my js13 brush and blend that over its lip so there's a little transition into a lighter mustardy shade And then I'm just going to go over that with my Morphe M513 and just blend those out. To deepen up this look, we're going into Flame with my Morphe M321 brush. And just digging in. And then digging back into its lit with my Morphe M513. And just blending those two shades in with one another. Ooh, ooh. So guys, I want to do like a story time. And I want to call it like disaster date. If y'all are interested in hearing about my disaster date, let me know in the comments down below. Because I am hashtag traumatized. And yes, this was before quarantine. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to go into fire with my 321 brush again and just place that only in the outer V. Next up, we are going to cut our crease with the Hourglass eyeshadow primer and my Olimar packing brush. And this is something you guys have seen time and time again, so I'm just going to do this off camera. Alright, so we have our crease cut. And now we are going to dig into flaming with my Anastasia packing brush. I am a sucker for orange shimmer. 
We're just gonna pack this on half of our lid. Automatically, y'all see why I'm in love with the shimmer formula. Oh. Then on the inner half of my lid, I wanna go into spicy with the same brush and just pack that in. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Patting over again with flaming to make sure that the two shimmers blend in. And then turning my brush over to the blending side, I'm going to go into Blaze and Fire, mix those two, and then just blend into the shimmer so there is no harsh line between the mattes and the shimmers. Alright, so this is what we have so far. I'm about to finish this face so we can work on the lower lash line together. Alright, so we are back and ready for the lower lash line. I did already do the lower lash line on my left eye. So we're going to go in on the right. So first off, I'm going to go into It's Lit with my Morphe M506 and just blow that out on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then on the inner corner, we're going into Zesty with my JS13 brush, and we're just packing that in the inner half. And then to deepen up the outer corner, I'm going to go into Red Hot with my E36 brush and just tap that above the It's Lit shade that we already placed down. And then last but not least, we're going to put Light It Up on the inner corner because this looks like the perfect highlighter shade and it definitely is and then just to let y'all in on this secret i did use the shade spicy as my highlighter today and it is very beautiful and multifunctional and then i did mix it's lit with one of my pink blushes to create the blush that i'm wearing today and this is the final look that we have with the Spicy Sriracha palette. <laughs> I would say that I am highly content with this palette and the quality is definitely worth the price. The mattes and the shimmers both performed beautifully. The only con, I would say, is that I would have liked a deeper, deeper, deeper red than this. But I did make it work by mixing Blaze and Fire together to add depth on my outer V. But that is the only light criticism that I have for this palette. The color story is phenomenal. The formula is amazing and Peachy Queen definitely did not let me down with this one. Let me know what y'all think about this palette. Again, I'm gonna close up because I'm obsessed. I am highly obsessed with this palette. And that is all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.